Oh, here comes Chancellor Claus, here comes Chancellor Claus, coming down Chancellor Claus Lane. He'll come around when the goal horn sounds and it's hockey time again. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, ho, Mary! That would have worked out so much better if the Leafs had won. Facing the New York Islanders on the eve of Christmas Eve, the Toronto Maple Leafs dropped the ball, laid an egg, or allowed a misappropriate amount of goals in comparison to the other team. Are you really going to be that guy? Leafs fall 3-1 on the New York Islanders, and instead of a blue and white Christmas, we get a blue and orange one. The monster made some huge saves, especially at the end of the first period, to keep it tied going in intermission, but he couldn't keep Trent Hunter off the board on the power play. For the 28th time, the Leafs came up the opening goal of the game. And if anyone has to score on the Islanders, I'm glad it's Trent Hunter because I may have just picked him up in my pool. Seconds later, we thought we tied it up, but refs waved it off on a Blake High stick. My question is, what really is a Blake High stick? Have you seen him? The guy's like this big. A Blake High stick is kind of like a Ponogrovsky tippin. Or Chara with a toothpick. Killing any momentum the Leafs may have gained, John Tavares puts a goal in about a minute later, being his first goal since scoring two against the Leafs earlier this month, leaving me wondering why he hate Toronto so much. Hagman puts one past Rolison in the third, Rolison, and then the empty enter seals the deal, Islanders 3, Leafs 1. But not all was bad, Kuhlman saw a promotion up to the first line playing 19 minutes in the game. And you know he deserves it, but when at times he was outplaying Phil Kessel, who was a minus 2 on the night. Which leads me to my first of a couple video questions, with the Leafs losing 4 of the last 5. Do you play with the lines, putting Kuhlman up on the top, or do you go with what was working before? Sage and Kessel Pony. Now going into a game that's a little more rewarding, our boys on Team Canada wrapped up the World Junior pre-tournament by winning their third of three games. And though not surprising many, one of the most impressive players thus far has been Taylor Hall. Scores against the Swedes and then leaves the game with an injury, returns against the Finns, scores there, and then scores a third goal against the Czechs. And the whole time what's on my mind, aside from winning a sixth straight gold medal, is how cool Taylor Hall is after watching Steve Dangle's interview with him earlier this year. Which leads me to my next video question, how many of these guys on the World Junior team has Steve Dangle interviewed? Eberle, Hall, DeHaan, Cat, am I missing any? With his experience with them, it seems that Steve Dangle almost handpicked these players to make the World Junior camp. And maybe that's why Nike Canada is sending him to Saskatoon to report to all of us on what's going on in the World Juniors. I still can't get over that. Well friends, that's it for now. I'm going to remind myself I'm Canadian and go play in the snow. So you're a Leafs fan, Sens fan, Bruins fan, Habs fan, Canucks fan, and preparing to celebrate Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, or Festivus. Dude, that's so done. I want to wish you a happy holidays. And while having fun, I hope you're all safe and you all get exactly what you want. Now quickly before I go, I know there's a couple videos missing. My computer went down. I couldn't edit anything, but I'm trying to eventually get them to you. I just don't want to fall too far behind. Behind. So between now and let's say the Olympics, look for my lost episodes talking about the Coyotes, talking about Buffalo, talking about Boston. But until then, and until after the Christmas break, friends, everyone, happy holidays, and go Leafs go. This was fun. <laughs> Bye.